What's up? No, I'm not gonna start it that way. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We're back here with Kim. There she is. Hi. And uh, Kim asked me to show her how to pick her motorcycle up in the event that it ever falls down, which, you know, if you watched the last Kim episode, <laughs> you'll know that happens. So that's what we're gonna do today in this short video. So uh, stick around. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Uh, as mentioned in the um, little intro, we're gonna show Kim how to pick up her motorcycle. All right, at some point, every motorcyclist is going to, uh, let's just say, drop their motorcycle. Maybe you laid it down while you're riding down the road or something happens. You could stop at a stop sign. There'd be gravel on the road. Your foot slips out from under you and all of a sudden the bike's on the ground. So I'm gonna show Kim how to pick it up because it's really not as hard as people think. They do weigh a lot, but you're not picking up all the weight. Let's first talk about the fact that it can fall on either the throttle side or the clutch side. I prefer when it falls on the throttle side, and I'm gonna explain that as we show you, because we are gonna lay Kim's bike down and then pick it up, and then she's gonna do it to the clutch side. I, I really do, and you'll understand why in a minute. So yeah, let's get, let's get started on it. All right, Kim's bike is on the throttle side. I mentioned a minute ago, prefer it falling on this side, here's why. The kickstand's on the clutch side. When you pick the bike up, you're gonna be tilting it back that way. So you can go ahead and put the you can go ahead and put the kickstand down, stand the bike up, and you don't have to worry about it falling over on the other side when you reach the balance point of the motorcycle. If you've ever done a wall sit, that's what you're gonna do to pick a motorcycle up. You're gonna press back against the seat with your back grab a hold of the cold parts of the bike and stand it up. Another reason I like it falling on the throttle side and not the clutch, throttle side's where your front brake is. And if the bike's in neutral and you're on a hill, either up or down, as soon as you get it back on the wheels, the bike might wanna start rolling I as like soon as it. you give up friction. So this way you can hold on to the front brake as you're standing the bike up. That yeah. makes sense? Yeah. So Kim's gonna hold the camera while I show you kind of how to position yourself there and then Kim's gonna be the one that pushes it up. Okay, so you're just shooting at it. Now. I can't see in this. So, tap like this. I don't screen. know what I'm on. Oh, I see, okay. Um, remember like a wall sit? Yeah. Now, hot stuff, exhaust pipes, motor, yeah? Right. So you're gonna get down kinda low, push your butt against it, and then, push back like this okay and as you get it up you're gonna keep walking back till you get it all the way up and over and on the kickstand okay okay so you're not gonna actually do I'm it I'm not gonna do it <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna I'm, I want you to do it on your own because then you'll have the confidence uh -huh. to know you can do it you got to get really low okay like this yep all right grab the this uh -huh. thing right here uh -huh. and, and grab here. kind of the handlebar and start standing it up I'll tell you when to switch where your hand's at. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now you might, from there, keep holding it there and scoot your butt down a little bit. And okay. then keep pushing backwards. The kickstand's down, so the bike's not gonna fall over on the other side. Okay. Keep going all the way up. Okay. Keep going. I'm going. Go all the way till it gets on the kickstand. Okay, oh, it feels like it's gonna go backwards. It won't. It feels right like there. it's gonna fall. It's not. There it goes. Oh, it feels like it's leaning. It's on the kickstand. Well, that's how far it leans. <laughs> it feels different when you're doing it, it that does, way. It and does. if the bike had started rolling, to my yes. point, if the bike had started rolling on you, you just grab the clut or the brake as you are standing the bike up. So I did grab it here. Yeah. So then you would just in. grab the brake and it wouldn't roll either way. Now if I push it too far though, it won't fall over. It's on the, you put the kickstand down first. Yeah, but it, I guess maybe it feels soft in the grass. Yes, it does. Because it looks like it's digging. It probably is, but we didn't want to lay it down on the concrete. So, so it's the exact same concept if it's down on the clutch side of the bike. Uh -huh. The difference is when you were pushing it up with your butt, Yeah. at a certain point you have you to realize have to it's the, high enough that you got to put the kickstand so down. So kind of when you get it level, mm -hmm. just like pop the kickstand down. Yep, that's it. Well, that was a little, I mean, it wasn't as hard it's as I thought, hard. but it was like that last little, like... Well, the uncertainty 
That's my brain the hard didn't part. want it to lean more, that's for Cause, sure. Because the bike leans further than you think yeah. it does when you put it on a kickstand. Yeah. It does. And But that means it's good because you can get it up to where the balance point is and you ought to be able to put the kickstand down. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, that is the most effective way for a smaller person, not saying Kim's small, <laughs> but for a smaller person to lift up a, a motorcycle that's quite a bit heavier than you. Because I'm guessing this bike probably weighs, do you know what it weighs? Uh, I don't remember. I'll look it up and put Three it in. Something maybe? I'll look it up and put it in here in the screen. If I had to guess, I'm, I'm guessing this bike's somewhere between 350 and yeah. 450 pounds. I think it's like three something. Um, but it has a pretty good center of gravity on it, which makes it easier. So if you've done a wall sit ever in your life, that's all you're going to do to pick the motorcycle up. Yeah. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Share it with your friends and always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs>